All right, <clears throat> this was filmed at a Goodwill. And here, I'm at these tables that usually yield Nerf product, but yeah, I didn't see anything Nerf-wise. I saw a bunch of bikes though, a bunch of kids' bikes. But uh, yeah, nothing Nerf related. So, hmm. I looked around a little more and saw some golf clubs, which was hilarious. And then over here, I found that broken uh, rocket launcher, then that weird Adventure Force belt blaster. And um, I saw this Predator, I think it was, missing its scope, missing its mag, basically missing everything. And uh, yeah. I wasn't going to get it since it was missing everything that made it what it was. <clears throat> but uh, after some diligent searching, I concluded that this area didn't have anything. And I kept putting this plush Mickey back up, <laughs> which was silly. But uh, yeah, this toy aisle didn't have nothing this time. So mm -hmm. there's that Adventure Force Belt Blaster. That has a pump grip and chain that might be useful for those that like those types of chains. That style of chain, I should say. But it's not for me. So I set it back down. And I kept looking and looking. But, yeah. I did see this, though, a Halo drop pod missing the front covering. For, I think that's like for ODSTs. And then there's that rocket launcher. Still can't believe that's there. Would have thought someone would have bought it and either built or tried to find the other half of it. Nope, they left it there because it was incomplete. Now, turning over here, I found this Dreadbolt. And I was actually very excited to find this instead of that Icon series long shot core blaster, which is what I was originally after. I knew this was a lemon of a blaster without the arrows and with the locks in place. But yeah, I bought this anyway. Because I knew I could remove the locks if I knew how everything functioned. Luckily for me, I found photos of it opened up. So yeah, I bought this. Alright, here's the Fresno Mission Thrift. And here, I actually found some good stuff, which, which you're about to see. <clears throat> there's a Dino Blaster right there, and a Super 16, I think. And then here's a Rapid Fire from the Dino line of X Shot. And here's that. Dinosaur Blaster, that revolving shotgun blaster. Then here's what really caught my eye in a minute, as soon as I put this thing down. I saw a strong arm with a commander scope on it. There it is right there, you just saw it. And this weird harmonica clip blaster from X Shot. Looks cool, cool form factor, but awkward because of the harmonica clip. Now, I want that s scope. I wanted that scope, so I took it off the strong arm because it didn't belong there. I think it went to the commander, which was over here. Well, it could have been wrong, though. It could have went to a different blaster. But I did not leave that scope behind, and you'll see what I attached it to in order to take it with me. But here is a uh, rail blaster that you can attach to the Picatinny rail of a rifle blaster. 
So it goes like a secret shot or something. Then here we have the Rex Rampage complete with its mag. And bonus, a string that some kid's parents tied to the strap hooks. Then over here, I came across two dread bolts, which I did not think I would see two of them in one place. Then down there is a rival Artemis. If I'm correct, that is an Artemis. It is the uh, revolving shotgun blaster of the rival line. But yeah, those two dread bolts, seeing those was like an was like a good omen like next time I came back here I would find something else that I was after there's that uh, night finder that I m may or may not have modded stay tuned to the end of the video for that then I just found another strong arm and didn't quite see anything else All right, everyone. This is Snow Fox Cosplays, and uh, yeah, this is my face. So I I just got out of the shower, but uh, yeah, um, I'm back home in my apartment, and I have a haul that I want to show you guys. Uh, hold on. All right, here's what I got. First, I got the on monitor that's uh, 22 inches for $79 at Walmart. Mario, no, uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. And uh, the Nerf Storm Charge uh, Wild Edition. It was uh, $14.50. Then some tools and the Venture Force Short Darts for my Nexus Pro over there in the corner. And then. From my smoke shop, I got Toga Himiko from the Evil Villains My Hero Academia line of statue figures. And then also from Walmart, I got these two LED lights. And then from the Fresno Missions Thrift, I got a Fire Strike and a Night Finder with a, I want to say a Commander Scope. I'm not sure what Nerf Blaster that goes to. Let me know in the comments below. And then the Rex Rampage for twelve fifty, I think, plus a, a string sling, which I've never seen before. But yeah, that was the haul for today. Actually, no, for the whole week, because including the Dreadbolt over there. So yeah, thumbs up for this haul if you liked the video. Subscribe and comment if you want more of these videos. Snow Fox Cosplays, out. Alright. Just an update. I took out these two locks. And now the Dreadbolt is no longer a lemon. It can fire without arrows. Proof will be in the pudding. And so now I give you red bolt test firing footage. Get in the frame here. Watch the string. There you have it. Dreadbolt is no longer a lemon. And just remove these components because these are the locks. Remove these and your dread bolt is good to go. Snowfox cosplays with quick update.